Hello and welcome back to our web development course. In this lecture we are going to continue with the HTML section and we are going to discuss about HTML text formatting. And remember this is part 8 of this course. So let us start. HTML formatting elements. HTML defines special elements for defining text with a special meaning. We have some ways that we can define special text with special meaning using HTML. HTML uses elements like B tag, I tag for formatting output like bold and italics. That's how we're going to practice. You'll see. Then, here are some other examples of formatting elements that we have in HTML. We have the B tag, we have the strong tag, we have the italic tag, we have the emphasis tag, we have the mark tag, and we have the small tag. We have some other tags such as the delete tag, the insert tag, the, sub the subscript tag, and the superscript tag. I know they may be seem new to you, but let us go to the coding and see how we can implement these tags of HTML formatting. So we shall switch back to our text editor which is Sublime Text and we shall begin by creating a new file and save it as 8 underscore mm, I'll call it formatting 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 dot html formatting dot html okay dot html okay so sh I'll begin by creating the structure of html by just simply typing html and press the tab key i'll maybe name this as formatting in html okay so let's begin formatting okay we shall begin by b tag to make a b tag just write b and close the tag and say this text this this text is is what is maybe bolded okay then I'll click here and say open your browser and then it will open our browser as you can see our text is dot is bolded just like the way we expected it this text is bolded let me zoom so that you can see properly I'll come back I'll implement the strong tag. Just write the word strong and say strong and say maybe this text is important. Okay? But I'll first put here my paragraph, maybe P. Say this is normal text so that we can simply compare this okay so I'll come back to the browser and refresh this is normal text let me put here br tag so that it should be broken and get the difference okay so I'll come this is normal text this is important text this is bold text I would like you to know that the strong is just like bolded in appearance but strong means an important text that you want to elaborate but the B tag and the strong tag in appearance they're almost the same. So we proceed. Just put here another break and maybe practice the emphasis tag. To make the emphasis tag we just write EM and put the tab key. This okay we can say we we emphasize this we emphasize this ok I don't know if the spelling is correct we emphasize this ok so I'll come back to the browser you can see how this emphasis tag is written I can say you should do this you better do this better do this okay so you see the emphasis tag is written in this way 
okay but let us make an italic tag and see what's the difference between the emphasis and italic tag italic tag just put i and put the tab key so this is italics italics format okay I'll come back and refresh mm, italics and emphasis I don't see big difference but there's difference emphasis is a bit lighter than italics is just like emphasis but a bit bolder but there's no significant I uh, difference italics and emphasis they're almost the same in appearance we proceed we come to mark mark just so you got mark maybe this text is marked okay marked then I'll put here maybe my BR that it should be separated from the other one okay copy and paste here okay so let's go back to the browser refresh you can see the mark test will be in with kind of a yellowish background that the mark test so I'll break again I'll we shall practice maybe the delete just write del okay you just said this text is deleted okay Let's see how it works. Deleted will be struck through. It will be just a text but with a line through it. So this text is deleted. You can be writing your paragraph. <coughs> you can be writing your paragraph and include the text that is deleted or the mistake with a delete tag, a del tag. So I'll put BR. Just see how you can implement it in your real life. Okay? That's your task to, to think how you can implement it in your life. Okay, so you proceed. Maybe we can practice also that superscript. Superscript, you just say soup and then say uh, maybe 200. Okay, I'll just write here the normal word maybe 200. Then I want to put the power of 2. Okay, then to do that, I'll come and refresh you can see 2 squared, 200 power 2 so superscript means something that should be written on top of the other then I'll have to break here ok, let me break ok then maybe I'll write something like 300 base 3 so I'll say base 3 to write a base you use subscript just like that sub ok sub and put the tab key ok so I'll put here maybe 3 that is 300 base 3 you can see the difference so this is the superscript you use SUP subscribe SUB so that is the difference I hope you're also practicing and you're not getting challenges in writing these tags you can first pause the video and practice and make if and see if you're also getting the same results so let us conclude our today's practice by using the by implementing the insert insert we just just INS and put the tab key this this text is inserted okay I'll save or come to the browser refresh you can see the inserted text is just unlined text okay underlined text that's the inserted text so what is the difference between underlined text and inserted text let's underline something here we put br and put maybe u that's the underlining this is underlined underlined I'll save I'll come back and refresh I think unlined and inserted they are not there's no big difference in appearance so that's the way how we format HTML tags and I hope you have understood how we can format these HTML tags. If you did not then put your problem in the comment section and we shall discuss about it. Now that makes the end of our today's lecture. Let us not miss in the next lecture where we're going to look at the HTML, quotation and citation elements.
this is going to be interesting for the people who write papers and books HTML quotation and citation let's meet in the, in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video if it was helpful to you